I've got a story that goes beyond the scoreboard, something that touches on strategy, pride, and what it takes to stay on top. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. Let's dive into the latest from Rassi Erasmus and the Springboks. The Springboks have done it. They've finally broken their Brisbane curse. In a dominant performance, South Africa not only secured a five-try bonus point victory over the Wallabies at a sold-out Suncorp Stadium, but also put to rest a decade-long drought. This was their first win in Brisbane since 2013 and only their second since 1965, marking a significant milestone in the team's history. But as much as there is to celebrate, Rassi Erasmus isn't completely satisfied. Yes, he's pleased with the victory, especially considering the Springboks were forced to make late changes to their lineup when RG Snyman was ruled out just before kickoff. With Peter Steph Dutoy shifting to lock, Ben Jason Dixon promoted from the bench, and Salman Morat called up, the team showed its depth and resilience. Yet for Erasmus, the way the game ended left room for improvement. The box lost Malcolm Marks, Jesse Creel, and Marco Van Staden to yellow cards in the final 15 minutes, which allowed the Wallabies to sneak in their only try of the match. This lapse in discipline is something Erasmus is keen to address. We are happy with the performance, but not the three yellow cards, Erasmus admitted. We also didn't cherish the ball and look after it like a piece of gold, but at times we played with good structure and intent, so we certainly don't want to throw points away like that. Despite the comprehensive win, Erasmus and the Springboks had aimed to keep the Wallabies scoreless. However, as Erasmus pointed out, we would have liked to keep them scoreless, but it would be arrogant to say that. The reality is, we wanted to come here and win, and we are delighted that we were able to do that today. Looking ahead, Erasmus is already bracing for a tougher challenge in Perth, where the Wallabies are expected to welcome back key players, including the formidable tight head prop, Taniela Tupu. The Springboks coach knows that Joe Schmidt, now four games into his tenure with Australia, will be looking for a response. Next week is a new test and we want to give other players a chance, Erasmus said. But that said, we know Joe Schmidt and how he can turn things around. He's only had four games with Australia and next week is a new game and a new venue and we are expecting a big challenge. So, what's your take? Will the Springboks tighten up and continue their dominance or are the Wallabies ready to bounce back in Perth? Let's hear your thoughts. This is going to be a battle worth watching.